What's going on, everybody? This is Al from Instantly 06 Revival, and today I want to break down Gunwide Trips Flanker Cross. This was a request from a uh, fellow gamer. Hopefully, this video will help him out and to you as well. I really like this play. If I was uh, running a pro spread type offense, or if I just enjoyed 11 personnel out of the gun and wanted to throw the ball around, this is a good little play to have in your offense. So let's get right to it. Okay, as you can see here, we are on the left hash. Against man, what I want you to pay attention to are the safeties. As you can see here, I got a free safety and a strong safety. They're technically, this could be 4-3 nickel dime. I mean, it could be 4-2-5, 3-3-5, it doesn't matter. I want you to identify the safeties wherever they're at. After the snap, if you see both safeties come down, I want you to go over the top with the go route. That is our cover zero beater. Just tap the button and let the wide receiver handle the rest. However, if at least one or both of the safeties stay up in either way, shape, or form, we can go through the rest of our progressions. The first one we want to go with is the crossing route. This is the main route of the play. It's designed technically to get this guy open. He should get decent separation here from his defender. After he makes his final cut, just hold down the button and let the wide receiver do some serious damage. If for whatever reason you don't want to go to him, whether he's just not as good as your number two receiver, or he doesn't get good separation, or he may be double teamed, we can go to the dig route. The dig route on the outside, great man beater, just hold the button after he makes his final step. The reason why I have the crossing route as the number two progression instead of the third is because by the time you go to your dig, and you decide not to go to him, your crossing route is long gone, and you won't be able to use it. So go to look at the crossing route first before the dig. If for whatever reason you can't go to either of those two, or you just have a really good tight end, feel free to go to him. He's running a delayed route. He'll block for a couple seconds. Then he'll release out to the flat. Just give him the ball. Depending on his speed and his defender's speed, he can get decent separation here. You can ignore the halfback. It's not a good man beater at all. I've tried it. It just doesn't work all that well. But that's okay. You've got four other options to play with, which is pretty nice. Now let's look at our zone beaters. Again, we're still on the left hash. Now, instead of focusing on the safeties, I want you to pay more attention to the area above the center where you see the purple arrow. After the snap, if you see any hole there whatsoever, it's usually going to be a pretty gaping hole. It could be cover four, cover three. It... I don't want you to focus on that. Just see if there's a big hole there. And if there is, we can go to the crossing route. Just throw the ball to him, and he should be able to cut up field for a decent game. If there isn't a hole there, just go to your halfback. At least he has some use here compared to man. He could go to him against zone. If you're lucky enough, the defense will blitz really hard, and he can get wide open on the short uh, field or on the boundary side of the field. But that's it. For the rest of zone, the other three routes aren't all that great. I mean, you could take a chance with the go route against cover two, but, I mean, you're really taking a chance. And I like to keep things safe. and not like to throw too many interceptions. So just use those two routes, and I think you'll be okay. So we looked at the left hash, but can this play be run on the right hash? Of course it can. Let's look at it. The cool thing is there is no differences in terms of your progressions when on the right hash with man. You look at both safeties. If they come down, you go over to the top. If either one of them stay up or both, then you can go through the rest of them. We got your crosser, we got your dig, and we got your tight end on the delayed route. Again, ignore your halfback. Again, zone, things are just a tad bit different. Our tight end and our halfback switch roles. But first, you look at the center, see if there's a hole above him. After you snap, if there's a hole, Throw it to him. If not, our tight end becomes the boundary side short zone beater. Throw it to him. The other three routes you can ignore. They just don't work all that great against zone, especially on the right hash. Okay, if you have any comments or questions, uh, of course, you can put those below in the comment section. Of course, I'm on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on Discord. I don't know if anybody's heard of Discord, but it's sort of like an instant messaging uh, 
app for gamers. You can do a whole lot more with it, but I'm just using it just for like direct contact. Another gamer recommended this to me, and it, I've loved it so far. If you like to text message me, I prefer it that way anyways over email. That's a whole lot better than you trying to get on the Twitter or Instagram. If you're not on the social media, Discord is the way to go. So my handle for Discord is instantly 6 revival hashtag 1113. Also, you got my website. It's got so much stuff on there you won't know what to do with. Then you got my email account. Feel free to post anything there. And also, don't forget to subscribe to anything that you see above. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.